all right so now we'll see how we can find the duplicates in array using sorting method so i'll comment this so let's see uh, we have a gift uh, we have given this input array and we have to find the duplicates in this given array using sorting method so let's write a method for that so this time we are going to find the duplicates in a in an array using sorting method so here uh, first writing the code uh, let me explain what essentially the logic is so let's say we have a given array and if we sort in ascending order or descending order so the duplicate elements will be next to each other so let me explain what i'm trying to say is let's say we have we have input array 2 3 4 5 some random order right but if we sort this right so it will become 2 then 3 then 4 right and also again 4 then 5 then 7 after that 8 9 right so which means this was the input array and if we sort right if we sort in that case the duplicates 4 4 are next to each other and if there would have been 7 somewhere let's say right something like this then after sorting 7 would have come at this place right so the idea is we will sort the given array and if the elements next to each other so if the elements are next to each other are same right in that case those are duplicates i hope using this like this uh, you have under you have understood this logic and let's write a simple code to implement this logic so this is called using sorting method so i'm going to write one method private static private static void and this time i would say find duplicates find duplicates using find duplicates using sorting all right and this is how you define a method in java and it will accept one integer array and let's say arr right so let's write the code straight away so for, uh, we'll be using one for loop so it will iterate to the array int i is equal to zero i less than array dot length i plus plus right so this for loop i'm gonna use for iterating the array and in this i'll use one if condition if yeah <laughs> i just forgot before uh, comparison we have to sort the array because this is find duplicates using sorting so we can quickly sort this array using arrays dot sort and in this arrays dot sort we can provide the array so it will uh, it will do the sorting and after the sorting we'll compare using one for loop if array element i double equal to array element i plus one because after sorting they will be next to each other so that's why i'm using i and i plus one here so initially i it will be zero and i plus one will become one it will compare two and three this condition will not satisfy it will go to next they will compare 3 4 not satisfied will go to next they will compare okay 4 and again the next element 4 if they are equal which means you have in the duplicate so i'm just gonna print this out duplicate element duplicate element is 
colon and the element here that's it we are done so this is a very pretty straightforward one for loop solution to find the duplicate elements in a given array so what i'm going to do is i'll we'll see the execution of this program and we'll see the time complexity after that the time complexity of this solution so let's say okay we have this method again we'll go to main method in the main method we have this input array uh, let's say we have now let's count manually how many duplicates are there two is duplicate let's make uh, seven also duplicate and you might notice this time they are not in sorting order right so we know okay 7 is the duplicate 2 is also duplicate let's see our solution provides this answer or not so uh, i'll call uh, because we have made that method as static so using class name i can call that method because the static methods can be called without creating the instance of the class so, so i can see uh, we have methods duplicate using brute force uh, duplicate using sorting this we have created just now so find duplicates using sorting and with we can pass this input array as a parameter or argument to this method all right so in the main method we have called this method so let's run this program to see the solution i mean to see the output Here you go we have found element 2 as duplicate which is good and we have got 7 as also duplicate which is good but we have gone one exception array index out of bound exception all right so this is the exception like array index out of bounds exception so this is the common exception when we write these kind of programs because here uh, we are iterating through the array right so here we should take length minus one and this reminds us we should take um, we have to be careful whenever we are doing i plus one at the index right so and here we were doing i plus one and here we were taking array dot length and plus one obviously it will be out of bound exception because that index would be done, would not exist so in the for loop you have to take i less than array dot length minus one because array index starts from zero and let's run the program again to see whether we are getting exception again or not so it's executing here you go this time we are not getting any exception we are only getting our output duplicate element is two and seven and there is no exception because we have taken care of that because we don't want that our for loop should go like out of the last index because if, array, if there is uh, four four array element four array elements so index will start from zero to and index will start from zero and it will end at three because length of array is four so four minus one three so that's why length minus one all right so this is the solution using a sorting method how we can sort a given array so this was the input array and we saw we we have seen this solution in the form of sorting so first condition is you sort the array and after that iterate through the array after sorting if there are duplicates they will be next to each other so I'm just comparing array of i is equal to double equal to i plus one. If they are they are duplicates. Let's talk about the time complexity of this. As we know, so whenever we have one for loop, the complexity becomes o n. But in this case, we let me write o of n. But this time we have one for loop so time complexity is 4n plus we have also used this sorting logic so it will take also some time all 
so plus n log n so for sorting complexity is n log n so this is the time complexity for this solution let me write for you time complexity So time complexity for this solution is O n plus O of n log n. O n is for this for loop iteration and n log n is for sorting. At least it is better than brute force method in which we have O n square time complexity. Alright, so that's what I wanted to discuss in this session today. Thank you so much. Alright, so if you have any questions, comment. Yes. Please comment in the video and I will read those comments and definitely I will answer for sure. And if you like this video, please, please hit a like button. And to watch more similar videos, please subscribe. By subscribing, you will get the notifications directly into your inbox. Please subscribe to our channel to get recent updates. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, keep learning keep going.